Hey, what's up everybody? It's James here. In this video, I want to talk about some tips on how to practice good hygiene as a person with autism and ADHD. All right, well, let's get started. Hygiene can be something that can be difficult for people with autism as well as ADHD. For people with autism, practicing good hygiene can be tough sometimes because it involves setting another routine that you need to follow. And then there's sensory processing struggles too. Sometimes taking showers or wearing certain deodorants can be tough for people with sensitivity struggles. And then for people with ADHD, executive functioning struggles can play a part. It might be easy to forget to do such things, and motivation can be a factor too. Taking showers sometimes may not be a fun thing, and other sorts of hygiene practices may be considered boring. And so a person with ADHD who lacks dopamine, it's easier to be impulsive and do something different, such as playing a video game, to get that dopamine fix. And then suddenly when you wait last minute to go to work or go to appointment, you may not have time to take a shower. This has been something that has been particularly a struggle. I do take showers regularly and I've been doing this for the longest time. In spite of that fact though, I'm going to go out on a limb here. And I'm going to go so far out on a limb this time that it's literally going to creak and make me sway in the wind. Just share what I've learned to help you out if you struggle with this sort of thing. What I learned personally, even if you take a shower every day, there will be times that you might still have body odor. And a lot of times this depends on what you're doing during the day, such as if you're doing a physical activity or even the type of food you eat. A lot of times people take showers in the morning and then they'll eat afterwards. And this food can permeate through your body and so you might end up having body odor at the end of the day even though you took a shower. I've had people comment on body odor, such as close family members, and even one time a guest even commented about my body odor at work. Yikes. And let me tell you, I made sure that didn't happen again. And thank God my boss didn't know. Being told that you have body odor is one of the most humiliating, embarrassing situations you'll ever experience. And yes, I'm announcing this to the whole world right now. And I'm saying this because this can happen even if you don't do the right thing, even if you take showers every day. The time you take a shower can play a huge factor in this, as well as what you eat. So it's a good thing to be mindful of that. So I'm just sharing this as a heads up. And you may have heard this tip by many people, but I can't emphasize the importance of wearing deodorant. And this has been something that's been a struggle with me due to my sensitivity. My body often reacts to most types of deodorant. I often get rashes. So it took me a while to find the right type of deodorant that works with me that my body doesn't react to. So if you're the type of person that finds deodorant to be uncomfortable, it's important to try different types of deodorant and experiment and find what type of deodorant is actually comfortable for you. And another tip that I find helpful that has helped me take showers every day is I set a routine. I find I either take showers right before I go to work as a reminder or right before I go to bed. These routines act as a reminder, as a foolproof way to not forget. I also find it's helpful to do a similar routine when it comes to putting on deodorant, putting on makeup, or combing your hair. I also keep an extra stick of deodorant and keep it in my car and I also have another stick of deodorant that I keep with my bag so it's with me when I'm at work. So that way, worst case scenario, if I forget to put on deodorant before I leave, I have some with me as a backup. And I find it's also a good habit to keep your hands clean. I keep hand sanitizer with me and wash my hands whenever I do things. So that way if you do stuff like stem, you don't make your face dirty and catch colds. And to keep you safe from any kind of airborne diseases that we're pretty much all familiar with these days but would rather not be a part of. Well, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any other tips, please share them in the comments. Well, I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching and bye-bye.